this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a birthday card that I created using the In Bloom stamp set and the coordinating Pierce Bloom dies. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is what inspired my birthday card. So this is the birthday gift that I'm going to be giving. It is a venti size insulated cup with this really fun Aloha vibe design. So I'm going to start with a piece of basic white cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'll use the bone folder. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a piece of basic white cardstock. This is five and a quarter by four. I'm going to place this in my Tasteful Textile 3D embossing folder. I'm going to run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and then it's going to look like this. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just adhere this textured layer to the white layer. Okay, now that that's on there, I'm gonna put that to the side, and then I'm going to take my playful alphabet dies, and I'm going to line them up on this grid, and I'm gonna spell out the word vibes. Then I'm gonna take a piece of frog tape, and I'm going to place that over the letters, and then I'm going to lift that up carefully. For the next step, I'm gonna take a piece of garden green cardstock, and then I will take and place the dies over the cardstock and stick it down. Next, I'm gonna take this die from the Hippo and Friend dies and I'm going to line this up over the top like that. Once I have that where I want it to go, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down as well. Next, I'm gonna place this in my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and I'm gonna die cut it. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to the front of the card. All right, so now when we die cut out the letter B, these two little pieces did come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my take your pick tool to pick them up. And then I'll go ahead and add some adhesive and I'll glue them in. So now our word is on there. Now this is going to be a birthday card, so we're gonna do some stamping. And I'm gonna be using a stamp from the Timeless Tulips set. I'll be using this happy birthday here. Using the Memento ink pad, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the word happy birthday. Then I'm gonna use a punch to punch this out. but I only want this card to say birthday vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the happy part. So I'm gonna just cut this off here and then I'm gonna cut this off here. And then I can save this word for another project. And then this is the word that we're gonna work with today. Okay, so let me bring my card back here to the center and then I'm gonna take this little word and flip it around. I'm gonna add some mini dimensionals and then I'm going to place this right over the V and the I. Okay, so I absolutely love the Pierce Blooms dies. So let me just show you the pieces that I die cut for this particular card. So they are gonna look like this. I felt like these colors coordinated really well with the colors of my gift. Now what I love about the dies is they are called pierced blooms and they have just the most beautiful little stitched lines on each of the flowers, except for these little tiny ones here. Um, and this is just, there's 25 dies in this set, so this is just a few of them. Um, I just can't wait to show you all the things I've done with this, but let's keep going with this card. Okay, to start, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim this leaf off, take a little bit off like that. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna add my adhesive to the back. 
and then I'm going to place this up here and just slide it near the word birthday like that okay and then I'm going to take the other one here and then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back and then I'm going to have this one coming down here like this okay next we're going to do our main flower the largest flower here I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of this so you could use mini or regular size. These are mini. Put a couple of them behind there. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that right there under the letter E. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this flower here and flip it around. And we're gonna add a couple of mini dimensionals behind this one as well. And then this is the poppy parade and then this is coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that right underneath there, like so. And then we're gonna take the Magenta Madness one here, and we're going to place a couple of dimensionals behind this one. And this one's gonna go right up here next to the word birthday. All right, now we're gonna add some dimension to these flowers. So I'm gonna start with this flower here. I'm gonna flip this around and add a mini dimensional and that one's going to go right there in the center and then we're going to pick up this little tiny one here now this time I'm not going to add dimension to this so I'm going to just use some glue you could also use glue dots so I'm going to place that right there on there and then for the smallest flowers I'm going to use glue dots so I'm just going to stick that on the glue dot and I'm going to put one right here another one and put another one up here and on this one here I'm gonna go ahead and put one right down here okay and then the last thing I'm gonna do is add some more leaves so I'm gonna start with this one here we're gonna put a leaf up at the top and for this I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these with glue dots so I'll put a couple of glue dots up here okay, and then I'm gonna pick up this large leaf I'm going to tuck that under here and then I'm going to do one more and I'm going to have that one coming off to the side like that okay and then the last thing that we're going to do to embellish this card is we're going to add some sequins so I'm going to put a sequence here and then I'm going to put a small sequence here and a large sequence right there well, my birthday vibes card is complete. And as you can see, I pulled all the colors from this gift and now I need to go get this in the mail. So I just wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope that you'll come back soon because I'm gonna have a whole bunch of more videos using this wonderful In Bloom and Pierce Bloom dies. I can't wait to show you the other things I've come up with it. So be sure to check back and watch my next video soon. Until then, aloha.